check it. All right, Shalom. This is Jim Mess New Orleans coming back at you with another uh, uh, lesson. As we always do, we're going to give all praise and glory, infinite honors to you. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh honors to the elder apostles of GMS, peace and blessing and salutations to the whole for all right? This, you know, this particular lesson, this is going to be centered around current events, all right? Uh, news and current events, things that's going on, all right, in Babylon, all right? And, and one, of the, one of the major things was the, the what is it, the approval of the Fed now, or did it happen? The launch of it, all right, which we, we which we've been talking in the past weeks about, all right, how everything is falling down to one one particular uh, government governing system governing all the money, you know. So, and, and before this lesson, brothers was going into a couple of things, you know, you people that you know that go down to Bab go down to Babylon for for help, you're gonna get funneled into that too. You well you welfare recipients, you uh what it is. Section A, you Section A queens, you food stamp, you, you food stamp holders, all you motherfuckers gonna get funneled into one thing, and like I said, ultimately it's gonna be the, the mark of the beast. If you want to keep this continue going, you want to continue to have these perks and these benefits here in Babylon, you're gonna have to go on and get the chip, all right? Or you're gonna have to go on and get down with the program, all right? What is the C C B D C? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and practically that's what it's gonna be. Right, and ultimately, what's going to happen is that they're going to crash this system. Right, this this system that you got, you got those uh, fiat currencies in your back pocket, but well, they ain't going to be no more. They're going to do away with that, just like they did away. We, we continue to tell you this over and over again. Back when we was coming up, you had some, you had you had silver dollars, you had uh, half a dollars, two dollar bills. You even had when you had food stamps, you had a, a stack of food stamps that was like a book. Where where they at though? You can't you know, tell me they can't be done. Tell me that they can't just just uh, funnel all of the money back and just get rid of the dollar. It can happen, right? And most of these these uh, gas stations are now going to with these different kiosks that uh, that's just like quick transactions, man. Okay. They just said uh, Essence Festival down here. It was all it was all digital. Mm -hmm. um, and some other concert that was like it's jazz fest, jazz fest was like that, cashless, man. Right. You people, like I said, you Jake, you, you gonna get hit with a firestorm of shit because you're not even, you're not even up in the loop. Most people here in Louisiana, you about twenty to forty years behind everything that's going on around the world, man. Practically in the other states in Babylon, you, I'm talking about we, we still in the fucking fifties down here, man. All right, niggas is toe up down here. All right, the bulk of you niggas don't have bank accounts, you don't have savings accounts. All right, you don't have, you don't have nothing, or no nothing to handle your goddamn business, man. Right. Go ahead. We got the globalists suggesting the financial shock on zero hedge, and the, the what they're doing the is consolidating the all those little banks, you know, running them all through the two Jesus. or three main Jesus. banks, I believe, is Bank of America, down here, down here. Chase, and one of those other big banks. And what they're gonna do? They're gonna funnel those uh, instant payments that fed now through those banks, man. Mm. They're gonna leave them, you know. Two banks, JP Morgan or so, or whatever, to funnel all them payments. But they also using climate control to help to help uh, push that on Great Reset, man. It's combined. All right, they using because you look at the heat index in the Middle East, it was 152, 153. Oh, 153. Right. You got Phoenix for that since June 19th. They've been in the upper 100 teens. Yeah, I, I gotta show you a video too. It was, it was Arizona, I think, yesterday. Arizona Phoenix. Yeah, the, 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 the people, headlights and taillights just melting off melt, the cover. Melting. Well, they had a lady that put some bread in our mailbox here, one of those. Yeah, toast bread bread. And she said it baked it. Yeah. Right. It baked it. Like she put a loaf of bread in one of her big, you know, big little mailboxes and they baked the bread, man. Yeah, but, but this, uh, this is Esau with the heart doing his machinery, mm -hmm. man. Doing his machine. He's using the power on the left hand, all right, to do this. All right, this 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 is this is all uh, plans of the devil. Let me read this real quick. Go ahead, you got some. Yeah, this in uh, zero hedge. So you can trail. It says uh, it was from six days ago, July fourteenth. It says globalists suggest finance finance shock and climate controls to launch their great reset. Which <clears throat> I'm gonna just jump down here. It says globalists are now combining the climate change issue. Cause notice 
You had Bill Gates a couple years ago trying to do what? Block out the sun. The sun is an issue. Now you got the heat index high. So you see the, you know, the convergent, what they're coming up with, it says climate change issue where international finance and monetary authority. In other words, they are hiding the fact that the climate change agenda is part of the Great Reset agenda. You know? But that's, you know, to the pocket read more in it for, you know, y'all won't get some stuff, but. Oh, you found it? Kind of. You got it? You found it. You found it. You got it. Kind of. This was. This was posted on uh, November 8th of 2022. MasterCard gave New Orleans 100000 for truly needy. City couldn't get people to take cash. And, and before we go into this article, just remember how a lot of these different uh, you know, politicians and uh, higher-ups in society are talking about a universal basic income to help levy the coming economic collapse and mass job loss. I mean, pretty much down here in New Orleans, your particular man sold, sold a lot of you out. Less fortunate than one of you. Because notice, in the last year or two down here, they've been they've been actually giving out free internet. All right? What, why, what, what, with 5G and all this shit, purposely. Now that she made a, last year she made a deal with Visa MasterCard for people to have just, just digital shit, man. All right? These digital cards, because they're trying to get all you, you slow posts down here hooked on the system. Same thing they did, they did, it's been running trial runs when they had the converter boxes. Everybody had, yeah, yeah, trying on, to man. get internet, mm -hmm. or uh, get uh, cable, <clears throat> put you all on inverter boxes where they, they had actual cameras and listening devices, listening to what you was doing. All right, it's already, it's always a, uh, when they give you something, they're taking something away from you too. Go ahead, uh. In November of last year, Mayor La Latoya Kentrell gathered finance executives and community leaders on a basketball court inside a city recreation center to announce a new initiative that, she said, was aimed at addressing the city's racial wealth gap. The mayor's vision centered on the Crescent City card, a quasi-municipal ID card with banking capabilities. How is that? All of a sudden, they want to help you niggas out, man. And they, like I said, when they're giving you something, they're taking something away from you at all times. Go ahead. Powered by credit card giant MasterCard, and I believe it was MasterCard recently that was making a deal with a lot of these different organizations, these United Nations type organizations to work on a card that dealt with a, uh, a, carbon, a carbon footprint credit because we know they're pushing that with climate change and all that. Oh, we need to monitor how much gas you use and how much meat you consume <clears throat> for the environment. And financial technology company, Mobility Capital Finance, or MoCAFI, that would make it easier for city residents to access both banking and city services. As part of the Crescent City card rollout, Contrell announced that 125 opportunity youth would participate in a basic income pilot program, hmm. getting 350 per month loaded onto a MoCAF 5 immediate response card for 10 months to use as they saw fit. So this is going to be $350 on the card. And they, like I say, that's how they're going to come at you with, how, especially you Jake's down here, they're going to come at you with the chip like that. Giving you a, a loaded amount of money at your free use to do what you want to do. But long as you, long as you implant it in your right hand and your forehead, man. All right, you got, you got some more? Oh, yeah. The cards offered a pot offered to pilot participants included contactless technology that they could use to tap into 16 recreation centers and pools run by the New Orleans Recreation Commission. A contactless technology, All right? And this is what I, this is this is uh, the wiles of the devil, man. All right, this is what he coming with, and like I say. All you they talk about TD. TD's been sold for the TD yeah. doing what she wanna do, then it got TD back in the office. All right. And she and like I said, she doing she doing the from the for the powers that be. So they gotta get you people down here tapped in. Are right, you had something? Uh yeah, I got uh what you quoted with the Isaiah 31 for the NFT. Yeah, go ahead. It says, What sorrow awaits those who look for Egypt for help, trusting their horses, chariots, and charioteers, and depending on the strength of human armies. Instead of looking to the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. All right, and that's what you do when all hell breaks loose. What Israel Israel has been known for what? 
relying on the na other nations for help. They don't they don't rely on the most high, all right, in hopes that he he help them or save them. But the but these other nations, man. You we seen it for Katrina. They were hollering for FEMA, man. They weren't hollering for your hollow shot, your hope. And this, and this is a, this is an ongoing thing with with, with uh, the nation of Israel, right? You holler for Caesar, uh, whoever else is involved, man. Obama, you name it, man. Because you really don't know technically the the bulk of Israel. They don't know the, they don't know what the powers of the heavens and earth is, man. And some of them knew, some of them do. And they still be fucking all doing doing whatever they want to do, man. All right, keep going. It says, in his wisdom, the Lord will send great disaster. He going to do what? He will send great disaster. And we're telling you, a great disaster is coming. Preferably through through martial law. But the Lord calls what? What do he call those troops? Call them, he, 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 he said they're like a storm. And they're they going to come and, 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 and wash a lot of you niggas away, man. Even like this year. We're not here in the South. We're known for having what? Hurricanes. The Lord might make some come through this bitch again, man. And we hope he do. It's a scary summer. You know, look at the look at the, the climate. Yeah, the heat, yeah. So the heat that he pushed them hurricanes through, man, and get them stronger. Yeah, and we, yeah. Everybody get into those months where they're just gonna go off the Richter scale, mm -hmm. coming off, coming off that coast, man. Back to back. Yeah, but the the main thing is, the law's gonna cause disaster to happen, man. All right, martial law. All right, the chip implantation, and ultimately, the 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 uh, the missiles, man. We can't for, never forget the missiles. Go ahead says the lord will send great disaster he will not change his mind he will rise against the wicked and against their helpers yeah against the wicked and their helpers all right and who the helpers are the wicked the bulk of you tribes man you so-called latinos native americans and you you damn sure you niggas man right. you shoe shining tap dancing black gum having ass niggas man all right you watered down good for nothing ass niggas that love to kiss the white man's ass man you coons and like I said, a lot of you niggas, you you hit dog holler. Cause we don't even be talking about a nigga on the internet. He would jump up. Who y'all calling a coon? Like nigga, we ain't nobody even know you, you know. But we talking to you coons, man. You Uncle Tom's. <clears throat> yeah, I got to answer some shit. Hey, everywhere. Yeah, go ahead. This is last verse. Uh, verse three. It says, "For these Egyptians are mere humans, not the Most High. Their horses are puny flesh." In mighty spirits, and it's like their, their horses are a puny flesh, not mighty spirits. When the Lord raises his fist against them, those who help will stumble. Yeah, it's gonna get crushed. Those who help, and there's many of you tribes that's gonna try to help. And you're doing now, you're trying to help, you're trying to help maintain and keep the society afloat. We don't give a damn. Hey, man, we like those back when they had that term house, we like the field niggas, man. They wanted, they wanted, they wanted massive shit to burn up while he in it, man. You the niggas that sitting up there with a with a water bottle or a bucket trying to trying to get a whole house from from being ablaze, man. We actually we actually put more more heat to the shit, man. All right. We trying to get this devil the fuck out of here so we can get our own shit, man. Right. Establish. Go ahead. I, it says, uh, "Those who help will stumble, and those being helped will fall. They will all fall down and die together." Yeah, you will all fall and die together, man. All right, and death to you, man. All you wicked ass niggas out there that, that, that try to you know, do the bidding of the so-called white man, death to you. May the may the most high uh take you out speedily, man. And some of you die slow with your mouth open. Damn devils. It's all you niggas, that's all you niggas do, man. You come against the word, but you help you help the you help prolong this this kingdom, man. You got niggas joining the army, you got niggas, you got niggas in the hip hop world, you got niggas in the politician world. All right, and they think they got some some type of slice of the pie, nigga. You ain't no, nigga. You ain't doing nothing but eating crumbs here, and will forever will. Right? You gotta understand. You can never play on it on it on an even playing field as they do, man. These devils don't play fair. Like I said, you've been been up there in that world. They say when you start to make it up in that world, or be over a particular thing, CEOs and shit like that. They say, how is it funny that always the the black jelly beans always stick to the bottom of the bat? Talking about, talking about Jake that's in in, in, a, in a higher seat. Even though you look like you didn't made it, you always stick to the bottom of the bag. They always sabotage and get you out of there, man. And that's how it, hit, that's how it is here in this kingdom, right? You don't have uh, freedom. 
You don't you know you don't you know you don't have a piece of the pie, man. All right? Excuse me. You got something? Yeah, I had something backing up that yeah. article that the brother had brought out. Come. This uh Psalms chapter twenty one and verse eleven. It reads, right. For they intend evil against thee. They imagine a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Right. They're ultimately that mischievous device all lies down with what? All right, this this white man's establishing his his, his his new world order, man. Right. His system. All right, where he he feels that he can implement and put in place to really fur, flourish in wickedness, man. To really uh imprison the whole the whole world, man. That's what it's said for. The Fed now and everything that's coming behind the Fed now is not for your embitterment, it's for your for your imprisonment, man. That's right. All right, and that's why they going that's why they already have these detention centers set up, because you don't want to get down the program. You're gonna get put in one of them or, or ultimately just die, man. You're gonna get killed. All right? Don't take the C hip, man. Don't take the chip. All right, according to Revelation the 14th chapter, man. Don't take that shit, man. All right? Stop listening to these these motivational speakers. Some of these sold out ass camps, all right? They're talking about coming coming to what they niggas putting up a school now. What the fuck they doing? You know? But that's what they do, though, man. They they massage you with events and all type of other bullshit. But not speaking on the, not speaking on yeah fundraisers and not speaking on the, on the big issues that's going on. There's no reason to do all this, the gimmicks and shit. Just teach the word, warn the people about the the sea here, about the coming the coming collapse. What's, what what we're doing, man? This devil finna this devil finna come down fucking hard on Israel, man. I'm talking about. With extreme, extreme prejudice, man, killing at will, according to the scriptures. We know, it, like I say, you line the scriptures up, and then you line up the nature of the of the so-called white man, his history. You can see this nigga going to act an ass, man. It lines up perfectly with what the scriptures say. How he's going to be like a madman, sparing none. He's going to be that sword. He's going, he's going to, uh, he's like a, a sword, uh, polished and, and uh, I got that one. polished and, and, and fashion to do, do great slaughter, man. But yeah, you want to come up with you, what they say? Don't uh, attack the me don't kill a messenger? You want to kill a messenger, man. Or well, we simply, we sit from the most out to do what we do, man. Yeah, bring it out real fast. Let me get that, I know he got one. This is Ezekiel 21, verse 9. Yeah, get that. Son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith Yahweh, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. Right, that next word is the same sword from Psalm the 17th chapter. I believe the 14th verse, all right? That sword is preferably who? The so-called white man. He's known as the sword of the, of the Heavenly Father, or the whooping stick of the Most High, right? He was used, and he was set up, all right, from the beginning to, to whoop Israel back in subjection, all right? And and now he still, he's that, that sword in these end times that's finna do his bidding one more time, man, all right? And it's gonna be coming from the Most High. The most high is gonna display his anger back on two thirds through through who? Esau Edom. All right, through these different calamities getting ready to come. Go ahead. Verse 10. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. You hear that? It's sharpened to make a sore slaughter. So the most high got all his shit, got Esau fashion. When you see, when you see uh uh the uh the Department of uh, Homeland Security, the, the Department of such and such go buy a million a million dollars worth of fucking hollow tip bullets, that's the most high. <laughs> fashion is cheering them up. When you when you riding on the road and you see you look off in the, in the in the far distance and you see Humvees and tanks on a railroad system, that's the most side getting them ready to do to do his thing, preferably against the two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. Buying big ass M wraps, them fucking them, them nice fitted helmets. You see them nice fitted helmets the police got now? They be wrapped around their head. It's like a it's like a whole head now, man. Got all the cameras. All that shit. That's that's the that's the most high getting this devil ready, man. The, the, I'm talking about the run through you, Jakes, man. You want to say something? Yeah, I'm about to say uh, uh, another example of that is these different aerial uh, drills that they got going on. They got videos of like military forces mm -hmm. landing in um, residential areas, right? Practicing and preparing. Shit, we see the the, the uh, jets flying every day. You know, getting familiar with the city. Helicopters, like shit. That. helicopters run drills. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'd be up sometimes, man. A lot of times that I am up, 
you know, you just go, you just go on the porch. You might, you know, you might pray or you might just get a breath of fresh air. You see a little, you know, like a lot of jakes, you don't even know what a little bird is. A little bird is a, a small military helicopter. It's just flying around. You just see the, you know, you see the red and green light bleep, bleep, you know, beeping on uh, the, the, uh, the night. The, what is it? The Black Hawks, you see them going around. They'd be running drills and shit while you jake sleep. Yep. You know? Especially over that uh, bell chase. Uh, that's what uh, the, the base at is. Yeah, the base at. Yeah. Them just yeah. Be oh, yeah. They float. Yeah, yeah. I still know. I remember when I was in the hospital. Yeah. Like, I'm just looking back. You go on the morning yeah. like, damn. Yeah. Are you, are you just, you look out the window, you see a, you see a, a, a black van, a white van rolling past the house with a satellite dish on top of it. Yeah. Come on, man. You tell me what's going on. Go ahead, brother. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Question mark. It contendeth the rod of my son as every tree. Right. And he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This because you gotta understand. Yes, Esau is the sword, but who's handling it? The, the sword has no power but by the one who's handling it and willing it. And, and, and just like a just like an actual gun, a gun has no power, but it has power. But it's only backed by it only has power when it's when man's given give it life and, and put it in use, man. So the only one that's putting Esau in use is in, in willing him is who? The Most High, man. You how about you shot? And he's gonna turn that 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 anger and that power towards his people because he got to get you two thirds on his last run, man. Yes. You two thirds, you gotta you gotta get your ass bust before the kingdom of heaven. He's gonna use Esau, all right? The Lord, Lord, Lord will the Lord use the men of the Lord too to get some of you low down niggas back, man. You know, you niggas and done some of you niggas and done a lot to the men in the Lord, man, over the years, man. I'm talking about Keisha and Tyrone. All right, he said, gotta get you niggas, man. You little niggas too. You little monsters, man. You niggas and done some shit. Go ahead. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. To give it into the hand of the slayer. The slayer is who? Esau. All right, the so-called white man. He's the ultimate slayer. That the most is gonna use to, to, to slaughter shit out here, even his own, even his own people. All right, and that's why everything is getting brought to the, to the forefront now and manifesting itself. The Fed now, all right, these these different these different uh, detention centers, everything is is, is that is that is that hand now, man. All right, go ahead. Verse twelve, cry and howl, son of man. For it shall be upon my people. See, he's telling it right there. That all these things that's getting ready to happen, the slaughter of them is going to be at the hands of my people. And who's the Lord's people? You so-called Latinos, you Native Americans, all right? And you so-called Negroes, man. All right? It's a reason why the Lord got got a lot of you tribes. All of a sudden, all the tribes are here now. And, and what, before, it wasn't, it wasn't all the tribes. It just was just Judah and 2% and two percent Northern Kingdom, man. Now it's, 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 it's 13, it says, I think it's up to 13% Northern Kingdom here. On top of the, you know, the Judites and everything like that. But it, like I say, the, you know, this is the quiet before the storm. The storm is coming, man. You can see it. How are you going to get judgment? That's what coming, that's what coming to the world. Judgment is coming to the bulk of you, man. Go ahead. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon. <laughs> so this devil... The, the terrors of the terrors of the sword is gonna be upon my people, man. This devil gonna wig the fuck out on you tribes, man. He's gonna give you all that he got, all the ammunition, all of the biggest, baddest guns. All right, you name is gonna be used on you people, man. All right, because they hate you, man. You know, look at look at DJ DJ Donald Trump. He, he some you he, you know he had a spirit on you for the Latin tribes, but he he hated them. You know, everybody hates the so-called Negro. So yeah, it ain't no, it's no thing, man. You know, that's why when this devil, especially you niggas down here, man, when, when this man unleashed, he gonna, he gonna, I'm talking about, he gonna backflip, he gonna break dance on you niggas down here, man. You niggas think you rough and tough and back. And like I said, one thing about it, this devil know where uh, he know all of the so-called dangerous niggas out. He gotta handle you first. The niggas out there, the eating mice out there in Texas, talking about you gotta come take it. Them, he got uh, all them big ass guns and shit. They gonna come get you too. You niggas down here. You niggas look like you from '92, from the from the from no limit. 
You still got that no limit spirit with you and then the old camouflage pants that you need to still hold on. They're gonna kill your ass, man. You know? Go ahead, brother. That's it. A little more. terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Upon my people, go ahead. Smite therefore upon thy thigh. Yeah. And this is gonna be a lot of that. It's gonna be a lot of judgment being played out. This devil, this devil gonna collapse this system. He's gonna wig the fuck out on you tribes, man. Really, the Lord going to wig out. He's going to lose it, man. He's like that angel back then that was wigging out. The Lord had to tell him stop couldn't in the book of Psalms. Yeah, he couldn't stay his hand. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, he going to wig out again, man. Give me uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. All right, that deaf angel coming back around, man. All right, you, you better be on the right side of it. All right, to, exempt, to be exempt from the, from the judgment of the Lord. All right? We're not doing this for nothing. We dedicated our lives to this, man. Right. And because we know that this is true. Everything about this truth is true. It's life changing, man. All right? It's definitely life changing. A different mindset, a different walk, a different, a whole different uh, belief of faith. It's, 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 it's when you subject under this word, man. And we guess what? We do have the eyes set and have our eyes open to see what's really going on. All right? Go ahead. Ezekiel 9 and 4, it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And who's that, man? That's the Lord, that's the Lord's chosen. That sign and crying for all the abominations that be done, man. All the all the all the uh, LBGPQ plus U and all type of fucking symbols now, man. We don't want to cry out about that shit. All the all the, the plastic foods and shit that we eat, the GMOs. We don't want to cry out about that, man. The book of Israel ain't them, them niggas ain't them niggas ain't uh them niggas having a good time. They go some more some more goddamn back pushers, you know. You can see these hey, hey, hey man, go ahead, brother. You know, go ahead. This is uh, verse five. It says, and to the others he said, in mine hearing. Go ye after him through the city and smite. Look at this shit, man. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. You see him coming? Give these niggas on. I didn't know these niggas going to come. Make you, hey, I see why Apostle Tahar said don't wear no shorts, man. <laughs> you see that shit, man? I hope y'all see it, man. That's why you don't wear no shorts, man. Come on, man. Oh, Come on. Go ahead, brother. Uh, I read five again. It says, And to the others, he said, And in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Yeah, go through ye after the city and smite. All right? And this is that deaf angel that's going to get ready to come back around again, man. Everything repeats itself in history, man. All right? And it's going to come back around again. Go ahead. It says, Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. And he's telling the angel, just like he told the angel back then, all right, when you go out, go out, uh, don't have no pity, man. S smite, kill, which means kill, all right, slay. And he's going to tell him to do it to who? It says, verse 6, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. Yeah, and man. And women. And women. Young maids, children, women, old folks. And, and it's going to happen again in these times, man. That's why I say you got a word at this point. Of the, of, the, of the time and game, all right. You didn't told you didn't told your, your favorite cousin, your first cousin, your second cousin. Hey, you gotta get right. You, you didn't shook them niggas. You didn't talk to them niggas. You didn't even show them videos. You even you even you even done your best, man, to read strippers to them. They don't want to get it. Hey, man, the hell with them. You gotta start. You gotta get in paint the mode and start worrying about yourself. And you get it, all right? You you've been under the banner of the how about you shot to be exempt from judgment, man. All right, even mommy. You love mama dearly, but if, hey man, the most I deems her to be, you know, you know, to get, hey, it is what it is, man. You know, at this point, you're going to get all your family back anyway, man. Right. Go ahead. Uh. It says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Yeah, the mark, the, the mark of what? The mark of exemption, man. The mark of, I think it's the Tawah. The Tawah. Tawah. All right. And that's what we hope to have, man, the, the mark of Tawah, man. Right, because everybody, everybody out here is not going to be exempt from judgment. Judgment is judgment is coming. 
All right. As we as we continue to go on in these days, we know for sure that this devil is going to collapse this dollar, man. It's going to be all hell breaking loose out here on these streets. All right. For the what? For the want of bread and water. For the want of people are going to want answers, man. When the Lord gave you the answers, the Lord put us on the highways and byways for over what? The apostles starting with the apostles over 40 some years. Some men over uh, over 17, 20 some, 25, 30 some years, man, to give you the answer. We wouldn't we wouldn't have fixed it of, of downtown uh downtown areas for nothing, man. We wouldn't just we just we just wouldn't there for uh, 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 a new sign, a new Nike sign. Now we would put up there to tell you right and right and wrong, all right? To the, the pulling down the strongholds, man. You might have to get that again, you know. And I think that's Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Yeah. All right. So we will set up that to, to, to be as a beacon, all right, of righteousness for you to for you to come get your questions. We we weren't here for the for mockery, to make fun of, to fight. All right. This is what we were set up for, and we was like I say, in in, in here in Babylon, we the Lord put us in every damn state, man, just about whatever state that He wanted the elect to be awoken at, man. Even around the world. Okay? Go ahead, uh. God, this 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right. Because we went into this earlier. The, how the weapons of our warfare are not uh, not carnal. Because our we the weapons that we are gifted with now is this two-edged sword right here. Right. All right? That we will and deal with. That we, where we get down in this spiritual war with, man. Go ahead. But mighty through your how to pull down to like to the pulling down of strongholds huh. casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of your how right and what we did what we did with this two edged sword we pulled down caesar Borgia and exposed how it was a lie it was bullshit all right we we even exposed the doings of the, of the past doings of the so-called white man through slavery, through the Roman Empire, right. the Babylon, you know, uh, the Greco the Greco Roman Empire and, and beyond, man. Those are the strongholds that we pulled down, and, 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 it, and, it, and it came into play that what we what, what the Lord had given us was true, man. All right, that everything was filtered through the Bible. That we are the people of the Lord, because at one time who was the Israelites? Nobody believed in the Israelites. Nobody even knew people just going about their way. All right. Go ahead. It says, in bringing into captivity every thought to be obedient to the obedience of Hamashiach. Yeah, every thought to be in the obedience of Hamashiach, man. All right. Go ahead. Uh, that was it. You had one, right? You, you got one? All right. We're going to get it like a couple more, like two more, and then we're going to get out of here. This is, this is actually the back of the uh, early now. When these things happen, people are gonna want answers and they're gonna go to the damn devil for answers and they're gonna die. And so Isaiah 36, verse 5, it says, I say, sayest thou, but they are but vain words. I have counsel and strength for war. And now on whom dost thou trust that thou rebellest against me? Mm -hmm. So the Lord's asking Israel, who do you trust? You are rebelling against me, so who are you gonna trust in that day? It says, Lo, thou trusted in the staff of this broken reed. On Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. Mm -hmm. We have no king but Caesar, all right? All you niggas that looked up to Joe Biden, which they, they passed that at this point. They know this man's the devil, but they still, they don't have, like the Lord said, you rebel against me, so who are you going to trust? You're going to trust FEMA, you're going to trust uh, your boy, you can't say, say his name, he disappeared, reappeared, you know, the FEMA dude. Yeah, oh yeah. So, I mean, at this point, if you don't trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you yeah. don't really have a counselor. You don't have sound, sound judgment. You yeah. don't have a sound doctrine. You keep bugged out. Yeah, you, you niggas, you lost Armin Raw. You niggas that lost Polite. Polite going to jail. Yeah. That nigga going to jail. Busting cosmic nuts. Yeah, he busting cosmic nuts on children, man. So you don't have him no more. That coconut face nigga. All the other nigga went to the feds. When nigga shot himself with the guns. Uh, DJ. Oh, no, Grandmaster. Grandmaster J. <laughs> Grandmaster J. Yeah, Grandmaster J. Yeah, Comfy. He's out of here. He's in the spirit world. All right. The C19 took him out. All right. So who you niggas got to run to? Well, maybe Buddha. Buddha at a fucking buffet, man. That nigga still eating somewhere. 
Can't call him. Jesus Christ, he gone on a vacation. <laughs> that nigga been on a vacation for the, for the longest, man. Yeah, yeah. Sipping on a pina colada. <laughs> oh, uh, a sex, he, on, he, he drinking a sex on the beach, man. Smoking crack with Hunter Biden. Yeah. yeah, he smoking like the brother. He said he's smoking crack with Hunter Biden. With his feet, he's smoking it with his feet, too. <laughs> oh, man. All right, lighting it up and smoking it with his feet, man. So you niggas don't have nobody to call. All right. Muhammad in Dubai shitting on Keisha. Yeah, Muhammad, he in Dubai doing with the Arab money, shitting on Keisha, man. Coming over here from LA from what from uh, Compton. You know? So who you got to call, man? You can't call Ghostbusters either. Them niggas dead too. You know, so who you gonna call? You have nobody to call, man. That's why the most I gonna bring, I mean, supreme judgment down on you niggas, man. Cause you niggas love, you love Egypt. You love the, the Pharaoh of these times, man. All right? And then, like I said, it seems far out. We go, hey, man, hey, live with it, man. The most I gonna jack you niggas up. You got them, you crackers too, man. The Lord gonna fuck you up too, man. Real bad. Real bad, man. Do you see these niggas out here with their high shorts on? All right, got them, got them more, them, them, them naughty track bikes and shit. Them good ass bikes that's a carbon fiber. You ain't gonna better do that in a little bit, man. Nigga gonna be on your back riding out here, man. You got you got the Edomite woman, you know. <laughs> you got the Edomite woman out here, you know, just just running, all perked up and shit. You got you got uh, Dr. Umar Johnson in the car. He looking, you know. It's just you ain't gonna better do this shit in a minute. Enjoy this kingdom. Enjoy the last minutes of it, man. Because you ain't going to, all that you see is going to be in, in, in disarray, man. It's going to get wild out here. All right? You got, give me that. What you got? You spoke about rebellion, which means the war against your power. All right. And a lot of these people, when you go to Egypt, that's an act of war against the Lord. Because the Lord is your succor, he's your help. You're an Israelite, he's like, what are you trusting me? Trust in my prophets. Trust in my word. Mm -hmm. They trust in Egypt. So he said, stay there, right? And he gonna cause a, a perverse thing to come in the land. So y'all people don't be surprised when the world went come out of nowhere and hit your fucking ass. They got spirits for vengeance, his own people, oh. they scorching people. Our yeah. people are killing people in hey, elevators. Uh, hey, nigga, shit get wild, brother. But that shit, they had a big thing happen over here. What a day or two ago, um, a Jake went off at work, man. Over there at the, oh, the, yeah. at the shipyard. Clicked oh, yeah. 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 He's yeah, fucking with a nigga at work, man. Clicked out. Nigga clicked, nigga wigged out, man. And went, went, to, went to putting that iron on, on motherfuckers, man. Mm -hmm. All right? People trying to make a, a little bit of a living they do got. You got you got coons at their job. That, that one nigga, he looked like a coon, man. That nigga had that, he had that brown, con that all brown continents, if you know what I mean. Nigga, eyes brown. Oh. His clothes, he got them light. He like, he like he just, he like he just jumped off life. The movie Life, man. I said, you, you know, you, you look at that nigga fucking with that man. You know, you got uh, Issachar. Jose, Jose when, when you a Mexican, you wear that cap sideways, like T.I. on your fucking head. I said, nigga, coon, man. Fucking with that man. Yeah. Nigga, tired of that shit, man. And the Lord putting the spirit of bitches on people, man. I got that. You know? I got it, real. You women out here in New Orleans, you women getting, you getting it put on your ass or something, man. Hell. They getting hammered. Twice, <laughs> twice a week. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, man. If you found somebody that shuffle on a car day, you saw yeah, yeah, I seen that. <clears throat> yeah, man. It's up there, and, and it's damn damn show stuck up there too, man. Go ahead, brother. It's uh people tired of that shit, man. Motherfucking hungry, stressed out. All right, niggas ain't getting no box. Nigga broke. Nigga, nigga dirty. Nigga need a bath. Nigga tired, man. Nigga hot. It's hot. Oh. It's hot as <laughs> man. It hot as a motherfucker out here, man. You know, and people ain't they, they just ain't going for the shit no more, man. I'm talking nigga robbing out here at an all-time high. Go ahead, brother. Go this ahead. Proverbs 17 and 11 in the NLT too. It says, an evil man seeking only rebellion. Uh-huh. Therefore, a cruel message yourself is sent against him. Yeah, and and, and that's the Lord do, man. Put the spirit of vengeance, a cruel message on, on, on people to 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 wage what he wants to happen, man. And I, like they always say, them people that go on those mass shootings, the then they can say, oh, he was like, he was in the trance. Oh my God, ah. It wasn't him. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't himself. Yeah, because a, a, 
a cruel messenger, a, a demon is on that nigga, man, or right. angel, getting him to do what he want to do, man. Yeah. And like I say, when they be when they be cutting you niggas in that trance, that the angels got them yeah, getting cool. the, the right trajectory to, 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 to take the soul out your ass, yeah. man. Yeah. Even when he bust that gun, man, the angels be guiding them bullets. You hiding like the brother, this brother here at the job, a nigga shot the job up. He's on the only way this nigga got out, he was hollering on the ground. <laughs> you can hear. He pretended like he got <laughs> shot. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. And like I say, man, that's what's coming into the world. Judgment. Right. It's here, man. And while we don't get all mind, mind fucked about it, man, we know that that's coming from the Lord, man. A lot of you niggas need judgment, man. Niggas all rebellious. All right, the monarch and shit. You niggas need to. You niggas need to get killed, man. Most I take you out. Go ahead. Hey, if you want to know how the Lord feels, just look at everything going around, man. The Lord pissed off with this place. His uh, his anger and his wrath has waxed hot. And you just again, you see the when uh, it says when the Lord's judgment is in the earth, then the inhabitants of the earth gonna learn righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. You got to go. Yeah. And the Lord, the Lord is gonna flood this bitch with all out judgment. Every minute going you're gonna hear, you're gonna see judgment being displayed, man. All right? Hey, the Lord, the Lord damn near emptied out Ukraine of men. So what do you think he's gonna do to Babylon? <laughs> yeah, and the brother had inshallah my y'all was just about the thought. The brother had put it on the comment board. Uh uh what it is, Jeremiah 37. It says, Alas, for that day is great. All right, it, it's so that none is like it. That's right. Even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, he says, but he shall be saved out of it, man. All right, and Jacob's trouble is on, it's on upon us, man. All right, as soon as the as soon as the go the global collapse happen, you might well say it's on, man. All right, it's on with nothing. Yeah, collapse. You might well say it's on. Yeah, yes, brother. It's on stage. Yeah, that's the building. That's the headquarters right there. You know, but you ain't gonna call call for them. That's why I be telling you, 911 gonna need 911 in that day, man. That's how bad it's gonna be out here. Niggas already, right. we, we ain't got no, we don't have no police out here. Oh, no, it's bro, since 1949 or something like that. Uh huh? We have the lowest amount of police since 1949. Yeah. yeah. You go around certain these brothers' uh, neighborhoods, you don't see police uh, months, at a, months at a time, man. And it, it got down the street from this brother house, niggas be always busting their guns. And if and you don't get no ambulance, you have nothing coming. They've been shooting yeah. every night. You know? Yeah, go ahead. It's uh, Revelation 6 and 4, and I'm going to read it in the Christian Standard Bible. It says, Then another horse went out, a, a fiery red one, and the rider was allowed to take peace from the earth. All right, who's that, man? Who's that rider? That's Esau, so, yeah. man. Esau. He he has been from the from the set time. Give me uh first Maccabees one. Start at seven, man. Right? Since the since the beginning of the time when he was he was uh set up in power, it's all he's been doing, taking peace from the earth, man. Okay? Waging war on groups of people, waging war on against the land, against the, the, the animals, everything, man. You tell me this day, you think the devil gonna let off now? And he's at the height of his wickedness. He's at the height of him uh, establishing his, his establishing his new world, new world order. Man, hell no. He's gonna go hard as a moon, man. He's gonna go hard. Go ahead. Huh? Well, let me bring it up real fast. This is uh, First Maccabees one verse seven. So Alexander reigned twelve years and then died, and his servants bear rule everyone in his place. Verse nine. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. And this is then this is this to show that the Bible is true. This actually happened, man. After Alexander the Great died, his different generals, his four top uh, generals, began to do what? Be become uh, rulers over four different provinces of, of, the, of the known world back then, man. You know, go ahead. Huh? And evils were multiplied in the earth. What was multiplied? And evils were multiplied in the earth. What was multiplied? Huh? And evils were multiplied in the earth. Evils was multiplied in the earth at the start, at the height of this devil being in, being in power, man. And the wicked gained the rulership. Yeah, orgies at an all-time high, bestiality, you name it, was was set in play on a high level once the devil became in 
begun to be in power, man. And we seeing we seeing the decline of his power. So what happens when a nigga start to lose power? He he try to, he had that last little joke. He try to you know show his strength before he die off, man. That's what this devil he's getting ready to do, man. He's finna show his strength one more time. Right through the through the power you have by shot because this brother went into it in Ezekiel, man. This devil's finna slay a lot of shit, man. When he when he this fentanyl is the beginning of it, man. Everything around you, as we know it, is foreclosed and it's being shut. The doors are being shut, boarded up. Everything is everything is going out of business, man. Like him. Going out of business, man. You know the post hot Gone, man. All right. Four clothes on, man. Board it up. Through. Go ahead. It's the matter end of that. Everybody, we're going to probably end it on that, man. It said, so that people will slaughter one another and a large sword was given to him. And a large sword. So what, what's that sword that was given into him? That sword goes back to the, in the book of Genesis, man. The blessing that Esau got. You best believe he's been using that sword, man. All right? Get me wrong. Man. Let's get it on uh, Romans the 13 chapter. You know, this devil been using that sword. He he he's been using it since the beginning. Hey man, when you get a blessing like that, this devil he has got the what the feathers of the earth. He's everywhere. You go to you go to fucking you go to the four islands of uh, of whatever island you came and utter the, the name of that bitch. Who's there? He's some. Right, all the different plush, luxurious places to live at, he's there, man. So this devil, he he had, he lived out his blessing. The sword. You when you go look at go, hey man, just go put in your in your YouTube 2003 shot show and watch all of the new age, new technology. Of which all this shit is really we, the weaponry that you see is, is behind like 30, 40 years. But go look and see all of the weaponry this devil come up with. You know what I'm saying? Bullets that do all type of shit. Guns, knives that jack you up all type of ways, man. This devil, he he is the, the what, is, what do you call him? He is the uh, artificer, the artificer, man. He's the maker of weapons. That, that was that was he was called. He was an artificer because he was a duke. All right, he's the, the son. He's the son of tradition, man. The smith that broke the codes. Yeah, this devil got many names. This so-called white man has many names. They go by the scriptures, man. And they just came out with that movie Oppenheimer. Yeah, we're gonna go see that too, man. We're gonna oh, go see the Oppenheimer, man. Oh, got it. Oh, it. No, I don't know. It don't matter. It don't matter. We the brothers gonna go check this shit out, man. You can look at that devil. You can look at that devil. That devil, he on some Mr. Burns type of shit back then. That's your boy. You know? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, that's my man. He looked up. Yeah, man. Robert Abraham was a motherfucker, man. The destroyer of worlds. Yeah. Another time. <laughs> God, I see that. Uh, hey, you gonna eat, hey, we coming down to either you gonna be you gonna be you gonna be written in the tree of life or the tree of death. And the tree of death is that mushroom cloud that looks like a tree too, man. Yeah. This is you gonna be a part of either one of them, man. The tree of life or the tree of death, man. You know? And we hope to be on the other side. I don't want nothing to do with that, that fervent heat, man. You know? Any, you got anything else? That was it? That was it. Oh, get the Romans before we get out of here. So in Romans 13 and 4, it says, for he, talking about Esau, is the minister of Yahweh to be for good. He's a what? A minister of Yahweh. He's a minister of Yahweh. What the word minister mean, I can? He's a servant. Cause how, how can a nigga be a boss and he's really a, he's acting like a boss but he's really a servant he's doing what the most high wants him to do all right that's what the scripture says the king heart is in the hands of the lord man this nigga ain't running this nigga he ain't running a goddamn thing man he's he's preferably controlled by the most high man i want you to do the fed now right now i want you to do the, the mark of the beast right now i want you to start killing it right now and he does he does it and he does it to the i would gotta give it he's he's a top devil he does it at, at a a most the most high performance level there is of wickedness, man. That's the he's the best top devil. This nigga, he, he, what the what the boy Snoop Dogg say? Even in the even in the midst of war, he he, he don't miss. He don't miss. That's E, man. Go ahead, brother. That nigga E don't miss, man. 
says, for he is a minister of Yahweh to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. You better be afraid, man. And, all right, and like I said, Romans the 13th chapter, the churches use this as a as a, as a, as a, as a, uh, a thing of control, man. Telling you how you got to listen to the government, whatever the government. Hey, man, you run the Caesar with a Caesar. You pay your taxes, you do your shit. But when these devils start talking about putting the implement, the, the sea hip in you, you can, you, fuck no, man. We ain't going for that, man. You know? You know, you do your thing in this society. You stop at the red lights, you know? You stop at the stop signs and shit. You obey the police. Hey, how you doing? Officer, yes, sir, no, sir. Pay your, pay your ticket, shit. But when this devil get to talking about that other shit, oh, no. And I say the other shit, I'm talking about the, the, the chip, man. I'm talking about the C-19s, that type of shit. We ain't going for that, man. Go ahead. Huh? It says, for he beareth not the sword in vain. He does what? He beareth not the sword in vain. He does not. He does what? Huh? He beareth not the sword in vain. This nigga E don't bear the sword in vain, man. And you, we didn't seen it. You didn't seen it the last, what, the last 10 years, a nigga's fallen by the sword, by Esau. Yes. Mike Brown. Uh, uh, Tamir Rice. And the list goes on and on and on, man. Trayvon, Trayvon, Trayvon Martin. Martin. And all these other different shootings that you see with these Edomites, man. Them niggas don't bear the sword. Them niggas are programmed to shoot, cut, kill. So what the scripture say, man? Uh, it tell you, it tell you in the, in the book of Sirach, man, about your enemy. You know, never trust our enemy, man. Trust so is his see. weakness. Yeah, huh? No, he, he, you know, uh, fuck you. You got, that's a little bit more. We're going to end it with that. Uh, it says, for he is the minister of Yahweh, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that do it evil. He's a, ben a revenger to do what? He's a revenger to do what? I a revenger to execute yeah. wrath. To execute wrath upon who? Upon him that do it evil. So all niggas that be doing evil, wickedness, you know, you, you niggas getting them Rico, Rico cases and Oh, selling all that goddamn dope out the trap house, the bando, back down here in Georgia. Hey, man, that nigga gonna come down on your ass, man. He's gonna, he's gonna kill you niggas, man. All right? And he's gonna make a tip. He's gonna make a tip to even kill us. But we're not doing evil. We're doing righteousness. That's why the Lord's gonna, that's why the Lord's gonna intervene. All right? But to, but, but to two thirds out there, this double goes is gonna run over you niggas, man. Go ahead, huh? Get a, get a, yes, yeah, intent. Start that 10 and come down. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. reads, Never trust thine enemy, mm -hmm. for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. And that's something we got to keep banging to you jakes, man. Never trust thy enemy, man. You don't trust these goddamn devils, man. And then they come with. Oh, we got a new, we got a new marketing scheme. And, you know, get people to buy, buy into the fed. No, I ain't getting down with that shit, man. You know, I'd rather, I'd rather be out here, all right, under the bridge somewhere, away from the system than, than to be a part of it, man. Go ahead. Kind of reads, verse 11, though he humble himself and go crouching. This this is the, this is the, very son. So yeah, this this is the uh, attributes of this devil, man. This, this, is, this is how he is. Go ahead. Yet take good heed and beware of him. Beware this nigga, man. Go ahead. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped hey. a looking glass. Go ahead. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Yeah, keep going. Set him not by thee. Yeah, set him not by thee, man. Which a lot of you niggas, you got, you got problems. You, you love to be. A lot of you niggas be loved being all up on that white boy. Join hand, hand in hand. The white, the, even, the, even, the, even, the, even Keisha, man. Keisha be. Oh, you see Keisha like this? Yes. All, yes, sir. All 20 teeth now, man. Wow. Just smiling. Wow. Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. You know? Set, you don't supposed to be by these devils, man. Go ahead. At least when he had overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. And he did it He did it to us. He did it to us as a nation. Yep. You no, know, wanting to be up under this devil, he took us down and did what? Sit up, he set up and said he was us, man. I am the Jew. This is, hey man, just sign the Bell Floor Declaration. We just said it, it's this option. This is what this devil do though, man. Here they come. Go ahead. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. 
Right. DC seat to take that seat. DC seat to take that seat. Go ahead. And thou and the last, remember my words and be free and be free therewith. Mm-hmm. Who will pity a gentleman that is bitten with a serpent? Who gonna, who gonna pity anybody that's bitten by a serpent? And you, you said this, you fucking with the snake. You still are dealing with the snake. You still are getting close to him, playing with him, and when he actually get the chance to bite you, man. Who's gonna pity you? Nobody. Go ahead, up. Or any such as come nigh wild beast. Yeah, that's, that's it. We can end it on that, man. You know? So don't trust these goddamn devils, man. They, you know, you know, the spirit had to go where it went at, man. But like I said, at the end of the day, this devil's finna come down with hard, rootless judgment, man. The most high's finna come down through him with judgment. So you know, at the end of the day, you wanna be out the way. You wanna stay your keep your mind occupied in prophecies, man. Right? Because what, what a prophecy lies at it, it also lies our salvation. The more this thing is revved up to the end, we know that we almost out of here, man. And you best believe we almost out of here. Right. All right. So with that, you wanna, I wanna say, I wanna give all praises, glory, and honor to you. Hallelujah. Double honors once again to the elder apostles of GMS. Peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. Until next time, shalom. Shalom. Baba 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 Baba